Hey, just let's do a quick uh, Bitcoin cryptocurrency video. <clears throat> Sunday, stock futures have not uh, begun trading yet. Bitcoin hanging out at about 21,300. Cardano at 50 cents. Uh, XRP or Ethereum at 1,200. Everything's got a little bit of bullishness in it right now. What's my prediction? I'm going to put my fortune teller, my fortune teller hat on. I think I know what's going to happen. And I could be wrong. As I said in my video the other day, I did sell my uh, Theta uh, trading bag because I do anticipate further downside in the market. So I think what we could have is Bit as Bitcoin possibly hitting between $22,000 and $24,000 this week. I think that's going to be the top. And then I think we're going to basically have a big giant dump, um, probably retest the eighteen, seventeen thousand dollar level. I think ultimately we're going down to thirteen or fourteen thousand. Uh, I wouldn't bet the farm on it. I wouldn't bet everything I have on it, but I am betting a little bit on it because I do have a good amount of money on the side, and I have been taking some profits on this current pump so I can buy in cheaper. Um, <clears throat> for me, the way it, the way it works is if we go to a million dollars tomorrow, I'm happy because I got plenty of money in the game. If we dump, I'm happy because I got money on the side. No worries here, but I do think we have downside to go. I think right now we're following the stock market. I think the stock market will probably continue uh, a little bit of a dead cap bounce this week um, until it eventually basically just blows up and we, ha we see the ultimate crash, maybe end of the week, and Bitcoin goes back under 20,000. The sentiment will be killed. Cardano will go to back down to 40 or 35 cents. Um, Ethereum will go back to under 1,000. BNB will go back to under $200. XRP back under 30 cents. Wow, Matic's really killing it. Uh, Matic will, uh, you know, back to 40 cents for Matic. That is really incredible how much Matic is pumped though. But yeah, that's what I see happening. I don't see anything too, too bullish happening. I think uh, we're getting that dead cap bounce. Keep in mind, folks, we were on a downtrend for months. So we have to see some bullishness now. Um, I think we're probably 80% through the Bitcoin dump. I think we're almost there. Um, I'm just looking to get some cheaper Cardano, some cheaper Theta, but I do anticipate lower prices. And I could be wrong, but that's what I think. That's what my fortune teller, I'm looking into my crystal ball. I see bullishness uh, first half of the week and then second half of the week, we're right back into the, into the shitter. But don't hold me to it. Also, no, I noticed this. Goldman Sachs looking to raise $2 billion to buy Celsius Network. Okay, that would be very bad news for Celsius Network. Uh, usually what happens um, when, when these bailouts happen or buyouts, these companies get bought for pennies on the dollar. So what would happen is if somebody, you know, if you have $10,000 on Celsius, they'll make a deal and they'll give you pennies on the dollar back. So instead of, instead of getting 10, 000, your $10,000 back, maybe they'll give you like $500 back. That's usually how it works. Because if Goldman Sachs is looking to buy Celsius, they're looking to get a really good deal. And that means screwing over everybody who has money on Celsius. The more time that passes, I basically, I would say right now we're at the 90% mark that you're not going to get your money back on Celsius. I guess BitBoy was right. I was giving BitBoy shit last week for... Um, making that video about Celsius, I was like, dude, give it a few more weeks. They might be able to pull it together, but I don't think they're going to pull it together. I could be wrong, but uh, maybe BitBoy had some inside information. I just don't see it happening. And that's very unfortunate because a lot of people lost money in Celsius who weren't really looking to take any risk. They were just basically looking to stake their stable coins or stake their Bitcoin. And if you read the fine print, once you give them your coins, they now own your coins. And uh, that's the problem, which is why I don't know how anybody is keeping their money in BlockFire right now. I did a video last week or um, whatever the hell that other exchange is, but I, there's a bunch of them. BlockFi, Celsius, um, I don't know. There's a few other ones. We've got a $100 million uh, hack right now for uh, the Horizon blockchain. Everything's getting hacked right now. Everything's basically just getting like destroyed um, all these funds are going to zero. It's like a really depressing time. And uh, now more than ever, folks, is why you should be holding your money um, either on a very, very safe, secure um, exchange with two-factor authentication. But even more than that, like I could see keeping half your money on the exchange if it's a good SEC-regulated exchange where they're not playing with your coins and like lending them out to people for interest. 
But at this point in history, the way everything is right now, it's probably safest just to put your money on a hardware wallet or on the phone. Um, one safe thing you can do is a lot of people have old iPhones laying around or old Droid phones. You can create a wallet on that phone and basically just create the wallet, um, write down the seed phrase, and just basically turn the phone off and just don't turn the phone on ever again until you want to get that money out and just have your seed phrase. You can even hide your seed phrase somewhere else. Maybe like put everything in a safe or something like that. Um, I would say that's way safer than exchange. For me, I do keep some money on the exchange because I'm always kind of playing around with it, but I do have a good part of my money on a hardware wallet too, the, uh, the Ledger, the Ledger wallet, which has been pretty cool. It's worked pretty good. Um, right now, you're just seeing everything collapse, all these exchanges. So be careful, folks. Celsius turned out to be a complete disaster. BlockFi is going to go the same way as uh, Celsius. Keep in mind, Bitcoin goes down to thirteen, twelve thousand dollars something like that. You're never getting your money off BlockFi. If you have your money on BlockFi, get your money off. What are you doing, people? Why are people so stupid? I don't understand. I mean, they obviously still have customers using BlockFi. What are you doing? Get your money off there. You know Bitcoin is probably going to dump. You know the recession is just in the early stages. Get your money off there. But anyway, that's pretty much it. There's really not much, not much going on. Um, we'll see what happens with stock futures tonight. I think Bitcoin has some more upside to go. Um, I'm hoping Cardano can get back up to like 55, 60 cents because I want to sell up my, my trading bag of Cardano so I can buy back in lower. Uh, that whole Vasco hard fork situation kind of screwed me over. So I'm just kind of waiting for that to, to play out. But um, yeah, I'm looking to just accumulate my Cardano, accumulate my Theta as always. Uh, markets are boring right now. Don't get too bullish if we pump the next couple of days. If we see like a $25,000 Bitcoin, people are going to get really bullish and they're going to get really happy and they're going to think we're going back up to 40K. But I can tell you guys, we're not. We're not. We're going to dump. We're absolutely going to dump. So if you're trading, take some profits. Even if you're not trading and we get back up to 25K, take some profits because <laughs> uh, you're probably going to get lower. All right, folks, take it easy.